a lot further than we've been uh, in our past. They're just um, a lot more comfortable already. It, it, uh, you know, we've got a lot of work to do and just in terms of, of knowing our reads and, and throwing accurately, but I am, I've been pleased the first three days about uh, just their command um, and the knowledge that they've, they've done a nice job in the offseason of studying and, and learning about what we're doing. I just think they're a lot further ahead than last year. He was a lot more efficient in the bowl game than he was for much of the year. And um, I think you've talked about how that was more what you wanted to see from him. Has that kind of translated over to the spring now? Yeah, at times. there's uh, he's He's got to work on being more consistent. But if he can play efficiently and take care of the ball, we'll be in much better shape. We just have to cut the turnovers down, um, make the decisions quick and easy, and uh, just allow him to play his game, which is a – an efficient game, and then and, and he's got to be able to make some plays with his feet, um, and then you know throw accurately. Ac accurately, excuse me. He's got to be able to make the throws that we want him to make, and not try to do too much. What do you think of how uh, Foster and Gerald Foster and uh, Tanner Farmer came in? You know, just I know Tanner wrestled and all that. How they came in the spring? Yeah, I thought I think it, in really good shape. You know, they uh, I think it, they feel like it's their time to compete and have a, a legitimate chance to play. And so we got a great battle going in uh, those guard positions. Um, but I like how both of them worked hard in the winter. I think they're in the best shape as, uh, that they've been. Um, they're stronger. Um, so I, I just think they've worked hard to get to this point to be ready to compete. Specifically with Tanner, what are you looking for from him um, if he's going to win that right guard job? Yeah, just a knowledge of what we're doing and, and uh, being able to stay on his feet. He's got good power and strength. Um, you know, he's got to work on his, his balance and, and his athleticism, just being able to shuffle his feet and stay up. You know, we don't want him on the ground as much, probably as he was last year. But uh, I like what I've seen uh, already from him. He's, he's been one of our strongest guys. Um, so it's just a matter of being comfortable in what we're doing and, and not making mistakes. I know he has kind of a challenging class schedule, but is Thurston a guy that can play guard too? I mean, you guys look yeah. at him there as well. Or? Yeah, that's he's part of that group that's competing uh, for those guard spots, and Paul could be a center too, so he'll take some reps. He's got a he's got a tough schedule. Uh, he's a smart guy, so he's he's getting that, all that uh, all that stuff taken care of now, so that he'll be ready for the fall. But he he'll be here Saturdays and uh, getting extra work in the meeting room and. And uh, he'll be fine with that. He's, he's a sharp guy. But uh, he's in that battle for both center and guard. Under had played some center before you guys got here. I mean, what was it that you guys saw in him to kind of move him over to center and give a look there? Really the fact that we had Ryan, you know, and being able to put him in there. And, and uh, Utter was um, playing well as a guard and is versatile, being you know smart guy, so he can play both positions. So he's a kind of a swing guy, could play guard or center, and as well as Paul. Not to start a crazy hype train or anything, but you've seen a, a couple of pa practices of Patrick O'Brien now. What's been your first impressions of him? Uh, he's made some great throws. Um, we, we, we felt like that's what he had, uh, you know, recruiting him. We thought he could we could, thought he could do that, and he's shown that and proven it. I think he's looked really comfortable already. Um, we're early, so we got a long ways to go, and, and uh, you know, we got to get him running a little bit with – with some of the better groups, but uh, I'm pleased with him. I think he's confident and he's smart, so he's he's doing a nice job of being able to to uh, make the transition already. Did you see any from him the first two practices? A little bit early, um, you know, first couple throws, but I think he's relaxed and he's he's been fine. I don't think he's been. Uh, you know, phased by the whole deal. I think he's so far so good with that. He's just been really confident and, and uh, really pretty sharp, knows what he's doing, asks great questions. He gets extra work. Uh, I like that about him. He, he's a kind of a gym rat that way, likes hanging around the office and, and uh, getting extra meeting time. So it's good. It's a good start for him.